Cooper Marcher here. Well, it was the last weekend of January. I'm reporting on the squirrel drone racing yesterday. Auntie Pam from UK reports that everyone was on time for the squirrel drone races. Nelson, Lucan, and Larry, plus Twinkle, with her friend Eric, were there. There was lots of anticipation and excitement to start the first race at Ron Tree Rise. After a very clean start, suddenly there was a loud buzzing noise and one of the drones fell from the sky. Everyone ran toward that part of the garden, especially Matilda with her emergency first aid kit, to find a crashed drone. It was Nelson, who was fine and unharmed, but his drone needs a lot of repairs now. And guess what? The reason for the crash was he had forgotten to make sure his battery was fully charged. What a klutz. He's a little bit like me. <laughs> Everyone else carried on with the race and surprisingly it was Twinkle who won. She's trained really hard and she's very lightweight too. So she should be faster than the boys. After that, everyone celebrated with lots of peanuts and treats except Nelson and his trusty mechanic who are repairing his drone so he can fly again in the next race. It was great fun for competitors and spectators too, and Matilda was happy no one was hurt. It will be interesting to see who wins the overall season. I think Eric has taken a liking to Twinkle. So come the springtime, there may be even be another romance in the air. <laughs> also, Matilda and Nelson are searching for an apartment to rent in Shelburne, Vermont, so they can stay for the whole summer. They just loved their holiday here so much last year and missed the friends they made. On this side of the pond, things got off to a slow start. It was a very cold but sunny day, so that was great. I participated along with Susie the Squirrel and Earl, Lester and Chester, Susie's brothers, of course, and Squirrelitariat. Mom didn't participate. Something about it being too cold. She's a little wimpy. Earl the Squirrel has been seeing Susie quite a bit, and I think we could say they are dating. I still haven't had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with him or her about this. He's, he clearly has given her tips on drone flying, though, because she was really good. However, it comes as no surprise to me, or anyone else for that matter, that Squirrelitariat won. If you remember how quickly he runs in our summer races, well, let's just say he has very quick reflexes. <laughs> Lots of neighborhood squirrels showed up to watch him race, too. Ollie, my friend who's a rabbit and wears glasses, was taking bets for people, for squirrels. <laughs> and his wife, Petunia, with Theodore and Daisy, were cheering everyone on. The race went off without any hitches or mishaps, so we are all very thankful for that. Fortunately, we avoided the big coastal storm completely in our part of Vermont anyway. So that was great. Absolutely no snow. The weather has been really cold with significant wind chill temperatures. And we are all grateful to Matilda in the UK who keeps us outfitted with mittens, hats, and scarves so we don't freeze to death. <laughs> we decided to race in the cold anyway because being Vermont critters, we are all very good in the frozen environment. We are Vermonters after all. So that's your weekend roundup. I hope everybody has a really good week. Cooper Marcher here. Ciao.